There are different ways you can design an API, application programming interface. But in this video, we are going to compare gRPC and REST and see the advantages and disadvantages of both. An API is a workflow that you create to make other software available to communicate with your application. Nowadays, it is very common for each application to have a REST API. What is gRPC? gRPC stands for Google Remote Procedure Call and is based on the concept of RPC. gRPC was initially created as an internal RPC framework by Google. RPC communication workflow consists of a client and server, where the client calls a function of the server remotely. It can also pass any parameter to that function, but gRPC is more optimized, for instance, it uses protocol buffers and HTTP2 for data transmission. There are other RPC frameworks like Thrift, which are different. For example, Thrift uses a binary protocol for data serialization and deserialization compared to gRPC, which uses the protocol buffers protocol. It depends on your project and use case to choose between them. What is REST? REST stands for Representational State Transfer, and it is an architectural style for designing networked applications. REST is not a specific technology or protocol, rather, it is a set of principles and constraints that guide the design of web services and API. REST is well known and very popular among developers. REST workflow is different from RPC frameworks. Instead of calling a procedure from the server, which is the main idea of RPC, REST is about calling one of the available endpoints of the API and getting the result as the response, using HTTP and methods such as get, post, update, and delete for establishing, create, read, update, and delete operations. Let's see the similarities of gRPC and REST. 1. Both of them are data exchange mechanisms that make client and server communication and data exchange possible. 2. They use HTTP for communication, although this fact is more evident in REST, but it is also true for gRPC. 3. Both gRPC and REST are scalable and can be used in big projects. 4. Both of them are flexible and are not limited to a specific programming language. REST is widely available in different programming languages and frameworks, and gRPC also supports common programming languages, including Python, C++, Java, C Sharp, Go, and many others. Despite the similarities, some important differences are mandatory to know before choosing any of them. 1. From an architectural point of view, REST uses a request and response model where the client must wait for the response from the server. In gRPC, you can send multiple requests, and each of them can have one or multiple responses. With this fact, we can have unary, one to one, server streaming, one to many, client streaming, many to one, or bidirectional streaming, many to many, communication. 2. gRPC uses a service oriented design, but REST has an entity oriented design. 3. In REST, we usually use the JSON format for data compared to gRPC, which initially uses protocol buffers. 4. gRPC has code generation thanks to the protocol buffers compiler, and with its help, you can define your service, and it will create the required code for you in any programming language you want. REST does not offer any code generation. 5. gRPC has bidirectional communication, which may be helpful and demanding for your project, while REST does not offer this kind of communication. When to use gRPC? There are different situations in which gRPC can be a good choice, for example. 1. High-performance systems. 2. High data loads. 3. Real-time or streaming applications. When to use REST? REST is very popular and commonly used among developers and companies. You might choose REST when you want. 1. Web-based architectures. 2. Public-facing API for ease of understanding by external users. 3. Simple data communications. In conclusion, both of them have their own weak and strong points, 
and you have to choose them based on your requirements.